Here at ISB, we are catalyzing the future of health through science. But what does that mean? Let's backtrack. We are the Institute for Systems Biology, or ISB for short. We're a nonprofit research institution located in the bustling innovation district that is South Lake Union. Genomics pioneer Dr. Lee Hood co-founded ISB in 2000 with the big picture in mind. His vision was to create the world's first ever institute focused on systems biology. A systems biology approach looks at all parts of a biological system and how those parts work together to generate complex behavior. This vision required not only biologists, but other STEM professionals like geneticists, engineers, chemists, computer programmers, data scientists, and more. ISB's cross-disciplinary team works together to challenge the status quo and to offer unique perspectives on human and environmental health. Their perspectives inform new experiments, the experiments lead to new ideas, we're pioneering technology, and the new technology captures new data to form more experiments. Biology to technology to computation. We call this the innovation engine. Let's see how this happens here at ISB. Science often starts with a question. Collaboratively, scientists come together to generate a hypothesis, then design an experiment to test it. Researchers want to collect as much information as possible. They may be asking, why do these cancer cells act how they do? Can we make biofuel out of algae? Can we look at a patient's blood to predict their risk of acquiring sepsis? To discover more about what's going on, they may need new technology. In the tinkering lab, researchers design new technology. A new gene array, or a better microscope, can all be used to collect valuable new data that was previously unavailable or incomplete. Now that they have all this new data, researchers need to figure out a way to process it. At the computer, researchers use statistics and coding to create models and other visualizations to interpret this complex data. At the end of an experiment, they may realize they were asking the wrong thing, or have come up with five new questions in the process. While there are many ways to develop new questions, the systems approach is the way we ask ours. Everyone at ISB is part of our system. Every member's expertise is vital to our mission. We encourage systems thinking and collaboration with open offices by connecting these offices with our labs and thinking of every space as a chance to join forces. In fact, many ISB workers say that some of their best scientific ideas started out in informal conversations. Our scientists aren't the only part of the ISB system. Our systems include the receptionists that greet you, the maintenance crew that sustains us, human resources, purchasing, and more. Our scientific approaches and discoveries expand beyond the walls of ISB through community involvement and education efforts, such as curriculum development that aligns with our research practices, internship opportunities for students and teachers, working with entire school districts to help them use a systems approach for science learning and to ensure quality STEM education is accessible to all students. Sometimes, even just a single person can make a lasting change on the system around them. That person could be you.